Improved dimensioning input logic makes it easy to visualize dimension lines and adjust dimension points on the fly. In this chapter, we will see how it works on the floor plan and in the 3D document window. Activate the first preset view in the 06-04 folder. Open the Favorites palette and double-click on the first favorite to activate the required dimension style. Set the geometry method to XY only in the info box. This means you can only place dimensions vertically and horizontally on the floor plan. Click first on one edge of the vertical partition wall and then click on the thicker wall on the right side to enter the next dimension node points. ARCHICAD inserts double node points at the middle of the walls. Double click with the left mouse button. This will activate the hammer cursor and a circle with four segments which represent the X and Y dimension line direction options. These segments work like a zone. If you move the hammer cursor around the circle, you'll get feedback on the possibilities of the dimension orientation. Now, choose the X direction and place the horizontal dimension line above the zone stamp. Let's dimension the horizontal walls as well. and place the vertical dimension on the right side of the bedroom. Now change the geometry method to any direction. There are two columns on the left side of the screen in the living room. Click on both columns to place the dimension node points and double click to activate the hammer cursor. Now you will see three zones with three directions. The first is the horizontal the second is the vertical, and the third is parallel to a theoretical line which joins the center points of the columns. Now choose the third option and place the dimension line in order to show the real distance between the columns. Let's see some additional editing options using the pet palette. Select the horizontal dimension line and click on it again. This will activate the pet palette. Select the third command on the upper row. This command allows you to edit the length of the dimension witness line. When you activate it, you could define the beginning of the witness line. Place it on the bottom side of the exterior wall. Select the dimension line between the columns and activate its pet palette. Now, select the middle icon in the upper row to align the dimension line. With this function, you can click on an edge to align the dimension line to it. Now, select Vertical Wall, and you'll see the sloped dimension turn to vertical. Activate the next preset view to switch to the 3D document window. Select the second favorite on the Favorites palette. Then choose the Horizontal Plane and XY only geometry methods from the info box. Insert dimension node points on the bottom corners of the external walls. Use zoom if necessary. Double click with the left mouse to activate the hammer cursor and set the direction of the dimension. Choose the parallel direction with the external walls and place the dimension line. Select the vertical plane method in the info box and insert some node points vertically along the external wall and window. Set the direction perpendicular to the external wall and insert the dimension line. Select the horizontal dimension line 
and activate the pet palette. Choose the last option from the pet palette and offset dimension plane to move the dimension lane a bit higher, just above the floor. This completes Chapter 4. Intuitive graphical feedback helps you reduce time spent on dimensioning. There is no need to define dimensioning line direction before placement. You can change it on the fly.